This is Jim Emptor, Van Ana Company, Alexander, Minnesota. They're closing grain and livestock comments for August 3rd, 2016. Corn market up one today, beans up one to five, wheat market, Chicago up nine, uh, Minneapolis up four to six, Kansas City up five. Looking at the grain details this morning, really not a lot to grab onto. There were some very good private sales, nearly 2.4 million metric tons of soybean sales over the last six days, uh, with another nice chunk of them occurring today along with a corn private sale. Uh, that's the optimism right now that we can have some good exports to offset some of these big yields. Uh, still a lot of uncertainty as to how big this crop is. Tough to gauge the difference between a 168 or a, a 175 type crop or in beans a 47 to 49. Uh, we are anticipating a very good crop that could uh, be a bit of a detriment to eventually the basis levels. So important that we're watching those details. Also important to watch the carries. Corn out to 23 cents today from Deese to July in carry. Wheat carries are also very impressive. So some opportunity there to pay attention to. Uh, but otherwise very quiet in the, in the form of news for the grains. There is a little heat working around. But right now it's a tug of war between the big yields and very strong demand. On the cattle side of things, feeder cattle up 150 to two dollars live cattle up 60 hog market down 50 cents to a buck the feeder cattle live cattle market continue their up trending technical objectives here uh, we don't have a lot of inside scoop as to stronger cash yet this week obviously with it being Wednesday uh, but with last week's stronger trade and anticipation of cutouts being firmer uh, the anticipation is that cash will trade firmer as well uh, really this all started this rally off that cattle on feed report that gave us a bullish surprise and now we've got some momentum if we can sustain some rally uh, potential here it could be another three four dollars in live cattle and another five to six in feeder cattle and then we look for some pretty stiff resistance there hog market on the other hand continues to slide due to negative fundamentals and i just don't see anything that's going to catch tractions until we see reduction in slaughter numbers or we see a little better demand show up this has been jim emter van on company alexander minnesota traded in futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers past performance is not indicative of future results this is a solicitation